Hello, good morning, my lovelies. How are we all doing today? Ah, so welcome. We are Sunday the 13th of February 2022. And today is your angel and chakra wisdom. And I love the question that I've put at the top. Who are you today? So we're going to explore that with our angel and chakra wisdom. And before we get on to that, have you liked have you subscribed to whatever platform you're watching me on, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, however else you're watching me? Please like and subscribe because I do weekly readings that are general for everybody who's watching. And also, it might be that I'm doing this live now, but it's for somebody else who watches later on as well. But also, there's little bits of information that will come through that is meant for you to absorb and to take on board and help you. Um... So before we get going, and, and I've got some beautiful decks to share with you what we're going to be doing, I'm just going to talk to you about who are you today a little bit. Um, for me, I have been exploring that question this week, and I'm going to explore it even more in my newsletter. And it's how do we show up each day, and are we the same every day? So for me personally... We have a roller coaster of emotions and each day we don't know what we're going to be like. We can we can set that intention that we're going to have an amazing day, but something can trigger us and change our emotions, change our physical being. Something experience wise changes that. But what I know is the more you put into tending to your needs, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, you change a mold to what input you've put into your to your life. So me this week, um, I knew yesterday I was taking a day off. And a day off isn't always a day off completely because I have been doing some things. But get, get, keep cutting out there so we're back. So I'm um, just talking about how yesterday I'd set the intention to be um, tending to my own needs. And yesterday I just kind of was like, I need to just focus on my internal world and today I've woken up had a really good couple of nights sleep and I feel so much love love for just I don't know everything and anything I feel calm I feel in flow and that's the feeling when you've put a little bit of time aside for yourself and put some effort in for you so I'm going to talk a bit more about that later on as well um so what I want to just mention is if you are not following me please do so i've already said that but this week i'm running a gratitude challenge and it's free and um, we started it on friday you've still got time to catch up because i'm not making it that it's taking too much time up for you it's going to be something that you can jump in and out of um, there's a short video each day 20 minutes max and uh, a couple of questions as well so just to get in thought-provoking on your gratitude for your life experiences and also um, um, we'll do some mindful practices as well at the end of the day. So that's running until next Saturday. Um, if you would like to book in with me, I'm available on Thursdays and Fridays if you want to have a one-to-one -one reading, if you want to have some healing, if you want to have some meditation or mindfulness or you want something and you're not sure what you want, get in touch because I can tailor work and healing for you. Um, and I'm just trying to think. Yeah. So <laughs> my brain's like, what am I doing? I do, do tend to do too many things. Um, so this today, how many angel cards is the deck that I'm using? I just feel them so gentle and so loving. I'm feeling drawn to the energy today. And I read it from the book. And then the chakra cards is going to go in. Where are we imbalanced? Where do we need some attention? So I know I've been a little bit quiet in here this week. But I have been focusing on the gratitude challenge. So um, yeah, my energy has been really drawn to that. We're going to pull the uh, chakra card first. And see what area we need to work on. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and what angel message do we need for this week ahead? Just let them 
all out. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure which way that goes. I've got the chakra card, we've got the solar plexus, and then we've got this card as well. So I'm just going to look at what that one is. Um, I do like to read from the book with these ones because they are quite specific on um, the meanings. Where are we? Here we go. Okay, love it. 88. Oh, I love the number 8. It's on page 88. So 88. Um, the number 8 is all about abundance as well. So, let's read this one first. So, this is Angel of Patience and Secrets of Nature. So, I want you to look at this card because everything is contained in this coil. Um, as you can see, it is. It's like a pendulum, but it's also like a teardrop pendulum, kind of like, like this is not a teardrop, but it's kind of like a, pe a pendant. So I'm seeing a pendant, but it's also attached to a pendulum. So I'll show you my pendulum. I don't know, I'm, I'm sensing. It's kind of something similar to that. Also, it's got a different teardrop at the top to it. So... Let's come back to that in a little bit. Um, and it's very much in the centre. It's very much, I am here. I am now. I don't need to be anywhere else right now. I'm in this protective coil. And outside of that is lots of green and blues, which is healing, and lots of communication. Okay, my angel's coming in right now. She's just coming through. And she wants to bring in that central zone of, communicating with yourself being patient and allowing things to come through in natural time you know the green it mentioned was about nature then didn't it so this card of calmness cosmic unity and understanding so it's about being patient with yourself i feel there not thinking that you have to jump now coils do spring but this is this is already open it's not closed it's open so it's like Something's been open, but there's no need to jump into the next step just yet. Right, let me read what this message says. The ancients believed that the seven main planets of the solar system constituted a ladder of the seven spheres. At birth, our souls descend the ladder, becoming denser with each sphere, until we reach our earthly existence. To reascend the ladder during our lifetime, Achaia advises that we must once again raise our, vi our vibrational level. This connection is made from the mind and the heart. By reaching out with love to all life may involve studying crystals, herbs, essences and other miracles of nature. We should remember that we are not separate entities from the world around us. Separ separateness is merely an illusion which leads to loneliness. The divine in us is in us and is in every living thing as we are joined through the higher self to collective consciousness this angel asks you to place go to a place of nature where you can relink to your heart your heart to mother earth and father sky becoming joined to the cosmic web through the rainbow filaments of light be joyful and appreciative of the beauty and stillness send love to the wildlife and flowers in bloom asking for the knowledge of your path to be given to you Give thanks to the universe, allowing the wonder of nature's secret to flow back through the web into your soul. So, as I was saying, it is about being patient there and not having to jump to, this is what I need to do. It's asking you just to reconnect with the earth so that you, when you are ready, you can open that coil even more and raise up. So what I'm feeling with that pendulum there, it's, we ask questions with the pendulum. Um, you've got yes or no answers and once you've got the answer then it can ra it raises up the idea that communication then raises up the action but it's surrounded with lots of love so learned the heart chakra there but also it's how you speak in that then to everybody else um, so let's just have a quick flick see what else it said there 
So it talks about crystals. So the crystal there is obviously the pendulum. Connecting with that pendulum. Spending time connecting with crystals. Spending time connecting with something that helps you go deeper in this week. Um, and you might want to use a pendulum. You can use like the... Um, the crystal on a necklace if you want to you can use anything really that's got this and it's just allowing you to not even ask questions but just allow you to connect in with that energy of the earth um, and then when you're feeling that you're in that space and you want to evolve so that you can raise higher up and gain more clarity then you might want to use it then so um So it's saying, I feel like it is, even though it says you, you're not on your own and you are part of everybody else, I feel like you need this time alone so that you can reconnect with yourself this week. Then it then expands that coil, doesn't it, sphere, so that you can be on a higher level to reach everybody else. Now the chakra card this week is the solar plexus. Now that is very much about um, the energy of feeling and that energy of, knowing and what feels right and what doesn't feel right and this one says uh, the warrior card i embrace my inner strength power and resilience and i allow myself to shine i unfold my potential as an empowered person with a true sense of who i am i grow in consciousness i overcome and transcend life's challenges the need i need the warrior inside me for the journey ahead i am courageous in moving forward and, and this is very much, the centre colour is, is like more yellow, isn't it? This is you. So the yellow is you. It is how you feel about things. And at the minute, it's got this protective energy in. You've been protected. You're kind of just finding your feet this week. So don't feel like you need to rush this week because you will be able to get through more challenging situations when you have connected more with the crystals and the earth and nature um, and with the inner self now what I was seeing before we started this I was seeing a Buddhist monk and he sat in beautiful yellow sunshine ray big smile on his face and I feel like I've seen this picture before I can't quite put my finger on who he is but I was seeing this ray of sunshine um, now Buddhists sit in their power they have got um, a very expansive energy that they, they can get across and communicate what they need in, um, in a, a space of love. So they've got that warrior within them that can get through challenging situations because they have done this inner work. If you don't do that inner work, this warrior is going to show up with aggression this is allowing you to shine and he was in this beautiful um, illuminated light. So this week, if you are feeling angry, if you are feeling um, not in a place of love, then this is when you need to acknowledge that this is that retreat time. And courage comes with that ability to be able to communicate as well. So what I want to say is, it's interesting that we've got this colour because citrine is the crystal that I've got now. Citrine helps to eliminate negativity. Negativity. This is what I use in my healing. So if you do want to book in for a healing session with me, I'll use this crystal. We do healing with this. You can have healing with um, energy healing as well, Reiki. And I pull individual messages for you. If you're really not feeling that confidence in stepping forward and challenging situations this week then maybe you just need a little bit of um inner push from me to help awaken your own healing within um and it says it's a growing consciousness growing in consciousness is that being aware of what you are feeling and being able to pause and be patient when you know it's not working so this week it's very much a reflection week it's a healing on um, that discomfort in whether you're feeling anger, whether you're feeling them mixture of emotions. Um, 
and even though it's coming up to Valentine's, doesn't mean everything's hunky dory, does it? Just because it's one day of the year, life still goes on around that that day, doesn't it? And life shows up. Life shows up how you don't always want it to. When we have to pause and we have to reflect on, okay, I need to draw in my energy so that I can share that love and I can share my energy in a more positive light once I've done that inner work. So if you want some healing from me this week, if you want to be able to have some greater insight, then I've got appointments on Thursday and Friday. And if you want to join my gratitude challenge, that's free. Come and join that. That's still um, open. You can join at any time this week. Um, I'll put the link below. And one last thing as well, because I am doing the gratitude challenge, I've opened up a fa um, sorry, I've opened up a WhatsApp group. It's a free space. If you want to come in and get um, like a group connection, and I'm going to be sharing later today in that fa uh, Facebook, in that WhatsApp group, I'm going to be sharing some inspiration, some positivity, um, and you'll get a message every Sunday where I help you to connect in with raising your vibration, helping you to um, focus on that mindset so that you are feeling that warrior, but you are a gentle warrior. Um, and you're doing it with a place of love from the heart. So if you want to come and join that, um, I'll put a couple of links in there. What else have I got coming up? So that's it really. Um, and if you feel like you've really enjoyed my messages this week i'd be grateful if you could buy me a coffee i've got a link to um a website called Kofi, and you can share a little donation as a piece of gratitude for the messages that i share for you and um, pop me a dm if you'd like to book in with me as well i think i've got to, got through everything that i wanted to say so thank you if you watched the replay um and I'm going to hop over into my gratitude challenge now, connect with my lovely ladies and feel free to come and join us. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Blessings. Louise, take care.